Hi, in this video we'll be looking at using your wildcard character asterisk in creating queries. Now we're going to go to your query um, create option and then your query design uh, option here on your ribbon. We're going to go to items, table, add and we're going to close. Okay, so let's say we go to item name. We're going to enter that and uh, unit price and let's say we want to find the date bought as well and uh, I'm going to zoom this up a little bit in our last video we showed you how to use the asterisk to create um, or to uh, display the results for item name beginning with a certain letter and in this video we'll be looking at some additional ways we can use the asterisk as well so let's zoom this up a little bit so on the item name we have criteria here and I'm going to go to zoom and uh, we're, we want to return all those item that ends with a certain letter in this case R so we have the asterisk placed first here and then we have the letter R let's see what we will get from this query tools design click on run wow so what do you know we have three results water sugar and toilet paper all ends with the letter R all right, that is pretty interesting. So what if I wanted to find something that starts with a particular letter and ends with a particular letter as well? Let's see how we will do that. All right, so I'm going to right click here, go back to design view, and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to delete what we have in our criteria there, and I'm going to go to zoom here to let you see. So I wanted to begin with S. We want to find all those that begin with S and ends with R. So we have S asterisk R. Let's click on OK here and let's run the query and see what we get. Well, a sugar. Alright, so you can do very novel things, you know, with your wildcard character, the asterisk, and see how that works. So I hope this video actually helped you and you learned something from it. If you do like the video, click on like, make a comment, and subscribe. Thank you.